My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Roguebook. Let's take uh, the base combo of Shara and Soroko out here. <clears throat> Oh, Cobalt Step Stools over on the left-hand side. Your deck is considered to be four cards larger for rega uh, regarding ready, talents. I am always ready. And then uh, Ogre Tone on the other side. Going again? Whenever the equipped hero plays a card that costs two or more, deal five damage to all enemies. Neat. All right, Nadam, what have you got for sale here? Ah, Anything that pushes in this direction? Drink. Hmm... Okay, uh, Duel the General Rush we've seen before. Coup de Gras, retain a combo card, attack for twice, for damage twice, sorry, attack twice for damage equal to the size of your draw pile. Uh, slam, attack for 24, costs one less for each card played this turn, and then Mortars as well, attack for a random enemy for three, repeat for each card you played this turn. I like the idea of somehow comboing off a bunch and then playing both of those in the same turn. I don't see the way to do it just yet, though. Let's have a look at a card. Hmm. I mean, Think Twice is a combo card that is zero cost when played correctly and gains two block. That's... Let's, 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 let's do it. Let's do it and see how well that works out for us. All right. Start getting to our normal battles. Strike, strike, and strike. Okay, so I can kill the backline already. Bup, bup, bup. I'm gonna want a big damage card as soon as I can get one, because things like Think Twice aren't really gonna pull us ahead in terms of damage at all. That draws a card. There we go. Twelve. Only two defends. Ah, uh, slightly short of being able to kill here. Rough. Like, actually one short. We'll take two damage on Soroko here. And then wrap the fight with the lunge. Get him, Shara. Oh, five spaces in a straight line, you say? That literally just reveals that Sky Tower for us. And there's another one! Oh my god. What luck. We even get another elite. So get this Cobalt Step Stool immediately, getting a talent. Start each battle with a storyteller who activates to draw a card. Has two activations available by base. Could be increased after that. Uh, at the end of each battle, Soroko heals eight life. Whenever Shara takes damage from an enemy attack, she retreats and gains four power next turn. I think that will only count taking damage. Uh, as in actually being dealt damage, not blocking it. Let's use Soroko's regeneration there. Seems pretty dang good. Okay, and then this reveals five spaces in a straight line. And I'm going to try and use that to get to this tower as well. Uh... Okay, I can do it this way. Well, uh, that's pretty inefficient usage, though. Block that space. Then I come down here and use the Royal Ink up here. Ooh, an event. We'll wait until we have good cards in the deck before we go to the event. Because I don't want to be duping just garbage, you know? What's over there? What indeed? I mean, hey, we'll go access it. relatively close to the Ogato, so it may actually be the way that we use to approach up there. Let's take a normal battle, hopefully use some ink to move upwards, and then blow up the area. I'm just think twice. Uh, strike, strike, I guess. 
It's going to feel less and less good to not have any damage cards in this deck as we go on and on, so. Gosh. Soroko heals eight at the end of the fight. Shara doesn't. She doesn't heal. So I'm just not going to take the damage on her. Defend and guard, and then leaving the right unit out front is most defense. Not all, but most. Slow down your roll, bud. You're doing a lot of damaging. It's doing a lot of hurting. Come on, damage dense hand. Well, it's a defense dense hand, but that's actually ideal. Please take a couple turns off of hitting. Thank you. So I can get as aggressive as I can be. Nice. That'll make for an easy kill here. Thank you for the victory, but... Oh. Starburst? Right there as well. My god! This map is just unveiling itself. Oh then on the character that actually gets two cost cards more consistently. Um, hmm. There is also the branch of Tarim here. At the start of each battle, shuffle three Gaia's Grace into your deck. Whenever you equip zero blocks, increase the block gain by one. Gosh. Gosh, a lot of things want me to make Soroko a blocking champion here. We'll see if more things start supporting it. Uh, Kickflip to move Shara back. It's also just a good dense damage card, which I was already asking for. Draw two cards, put two cards on top of your deck. No, Barrage. It is just attack all enemies for 15. That's a two cost card, so it's attack all enemies for 20. All right. I feel pretty good about our cards right now, so I'm going to go back into battles. I like the idea of this whole combo car situation. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Punch at you. Murder you. I guess the Garum's Grace would help. Hmm. We'll see. Get our eight health for free. And just the four spaces? Four spaces. That'll get us right to that extra normal battle there. What do you hold? If nothing else, this is a good location now to pop down a gem. Uh, attack for 18 can only be played once. Oh, I thought it could. Uh, I thought that uh, automatically attack the frontline enemy unit. Does not. Oh, good, good, good. Let's get back to the front of the party, though. I'm not done bopping these nerds. Perfect. And if we take no damage in this fight, we actually get back to the perfect amount of HP, ending it as well. Uh... 
I'm playing that at two cost so that it actually does the hit and then using a strike against... Can't target the back line of wraps. They're stealthed. You know that, bud. That'll get us all the way, though. Perfect HP. Twelve. Oof. Yes. Oh, and it's charge combo as well. Okay, okay. What's that going to go into? Charge combo. If I put that in kickflip, does kickflip... Can I charge that from behind? Only one way to find out. Very well. Can I play it from behind if the charge is going to move her to the front to actually be able to use it? Warcry High Five Fire Oil. Fire Oil, is, it's got two, two sockets in there. Not that that really matters too much, but it is also a two-cost card that then buffs a character that cares about their power a lot. Seems good, man. Wayfarer, whenever you use a brass, reveal two extra adjacent tiles at random. Good. All future cards have two gem sockets. I don't have enough gems to use that. Every three times your character swap, gain an energy. That is... It, we saw how damned good that can be. I will never underestimate it again. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna just... Open a couple of these. Looking for other... Ooh, another brush? Yeah. It's just a good card to have a couple copies of because it makes itself cost less in the following turns. Mentor. Both heroes have power equal to Mentor Spirit. So Shara's doing multi-attacks and Soroko's doing AoE attacks. Mentor could be totally reasonable here. Let's take it. I could also even buy... Isn't there the allies have plus one spirit? Yeah, there is. Could even buy gem of growth. Pop that in. Hmm. Adrenaline rush makes a lot of sense in this deck too. I don't have much draw, so maybe it doesn't make too much sense. With a little bit of draw, suddenly that comes back online. Um, okay, I want to get to that. Rom. Which I guess, like, there. Gives us the most reveal with that pumping open. Oh, contiguous. And it's a vent! Okay. Pretty hyped about that. The events are very powerful. Okay. I'm not going to be able to see here whether or not I can play that kick from blind. You can at least combo it. Still pretty good. Gosh. All right, Soroka. You're going to be taking some damage here. It's your fault for being the one that I can heal. Should have thought about that before I could heal you. Yep. No reason to hold off here. That is a normal extension. Okay. 
Four. Oh, it's four spaces in a straight line, actually. Uh, hmm. Looking for a wide open area. If indeed such a thing still exists on this map. This is probably the closest to it, actually. Eh. Reasonable density of money. I just don't want to take the elites on earlier than I have to. Oh, one single AoE card will get us across the blind here. Still not able to check out how the kickflip's going to work. We're too effective. Four spaces in a straight line. So that's another setup for one of the brushes we're going to get from an elite. The elites can also give us gems, which could in be important to socket into something before we continue here. Oh, uh, that's annoying. I can't... I don't want to test in this fight. This is an elite fight. The annoying there is... That I can't play Barrage this turn. Because ideally we only kill one of the Tiki's when the Voice of Hunger is attempting to actually do damage to us. Ooh, nice. Five damage AoE out there. That is a debuff to the front line, so we'll have you continue standing there. I wish there was a different sign for, like, a positional debuff, like Aura of Weakness, which affects the person who happens to be in front. Uh, there are a couple other things like that as well, um, and things that would stick on the actual character. I'll eventually just know them, but... Would be nice. Okay. Strike in to think twice. Uh, I mean, that's another positional debuff. You're just refreshing the aura of weakness there. So I'm just going to make sure that I get as much damage as I can out of that turn. It's refreshed, as expected. Get her! Hey, if I was just making kickflip cost zero in a combo trigger without actually getting the effect of the charge, that's fine too. Ogre Belt! Whenever the equipped hero plays a card that costs two or more, gain four block. This yeah. Ogre Belt and Ogre Toe are such great combos for Soroko. Very pleased with them. Uh, that's four spaces in straight line. Oh my god, it's actually completely blank. I tried. Alright, uh, I'll go to the narrative before I go to the Elder Elite. The adventurers discover the entrance of a cave where a droning sound can be heard from inside. On closer inspection, that sound is some kind of harmonious chanting. As they walk deeper inside, it becomes quickly apparent that there is a distant source of blue light glowing from deep within. At the end of the tunnel, they find a secretive gathering of baby Lutuans, deep in joyful meditation. The air is sparkling with vibrant energy. As the song of the Lutuans intensifies, a feeling of bliss overwhelms Shara and Soroka. We can participate in the chanting and get a moat of energy added to the deck. Gaining two energy dissolves itself. Uh, or we can create an extra fairy well on map by asking Lutuans for help. I'm going to ask them for help. The adventurers explain their plight to the young Lutuans, who silently nod in understanding. They look to each other and begin chanting some more. What starts as a gentle shaking becomes a great rumbling, and soon the entire cave is resonating in frightening vibrations. As they run out of the cave, they see something rising from the ground in the distance. I should be able to access that if that's three spaces away. Yep. 
That'll be the uh, the thing I get over there, as well as the precision ink to get there. Nice. Alright, Elite. Pop your dukes up. Hmm. Got him with a baraggy. Give you a kickflip. Punch you. He's gonna inflict a bleed. But again, Soroko's the person who can heal. Seven. Ten. Eleven. Twenty. Oh, yikes. Annoyingly just short on the kill again. That'll do it, though. Get us back up to 68. Oh. Focused Prism. Draws and discards a card. Eh. This is fine, I guess. Not enthusiastic about it, though. What's over there? A little bit of gold. We should hang on to this. We certainly should. I wish I could find more of the farrier wells on this map right now. Offer a single gem. We can sell a gem for 50 gold. I may actually want to do that. Randomize all gems in your bag. Or buy a gem. Oi! Oi! You like China? Ah, like China! The diminutive merchant beckons the heroes closer. We'll try it! Huh? Fair deal! Smickle! Sue! Small, small, shiny. Uh, exchange your bag of gems. Yeah, let's just randomize a gem. Yours, take. Ha ha, fun. That's your luck. The merchant happily takes all of your gems and shuffles them into a big sack and then dumps out an equal amount into a bowl. He seems to take pleasure in the game. Yep, that's a lot better. Mm -hmm. We'll probably wait for another attack to put that on. Nadam, did I want anything from you that much? Hmm. Hmm. Not really? Maybe I just take the gem of growth, just in case. Just in case I get nothing else for it. That is to say, the mentor. Cards attack pierce through for half damage to the next enemy. I don't know how that works on AoE cards. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take the gem of growth. Pop that into the mentor. This works. You got two slots. We'll get you something else as well. Oh, I've also got to remember I can actually hoard all of these for a later floor as well. So we'll actually get them. May as well look at this card regardless. What do you got? Oh, God. Another fire oil. Gosh, Warcry is not even bad. Let's take Warcry. Decrease the average cost of the deck right now. There wasn't anything else, I don't think. Alright. Time to get to the next area. Well, I mean, look, there's, there's a loading screen that looks a hell of a lot like a deep wood stalker in the interim, but we'll, we'll get there. Definitely here, it has to be Soroko losing the power. Just definitely, definitely, definitely. Yep, kickflip's not playable from behind here. Dang. That makes sense. 
That makes sense. Um... Gosh. That's okay, as long as most of Shara's cards allow her to come to the front. And most of them do. Uh, let's give you a fire oil. Let you strike, so I can think twice. Beauty. Lunge and strike before you think twice. Whoa, all the way into a barrage. Nice thought. Extra vulnerability set up, but the barrage is still there too. Uh, Yeah, I can't really swap positions either, so. Let's play that for the four block it gives us from the ogre's belt. Gosh, I really cannot get Shara to the front to cast Kickflip at all here. Not for the absolute life of me. Oh. Shara's going to need more things that move her forward. More charge, perhaps. Um. Get her. With a barrage. No problems. Let's take all of those. I always try and take the selection last there. Crackthorn. Every time you face five cards in a single turn, deal damage to a random enemy. Whenever an enemy is destroyed, gain an energy and draw a card. I do like the Mask of Chaos. Allows you to kind of combo off on turns much more effectively. Hero who picks this up drafts three cards. I don't dislike the idea of getting that and then just giving it to Soroko, right? Try and draw three two cost cards. But then it's going to be really difficult to trigger combo things because I won't have enough Shara cards and I will have too many Soroko cards. Take the Mask of Chaos there. Bold Bargainer, an ally that is spiritless. Activate to discard a card, gain an energy. There's another barrage there as well as a clash. We're probably going to take the Acorn of Plenty. I don't know what I'm going to use the Acorn of Plenty on right now. It could theoretically go into a Fire Oil. The only problem is then the Fire Oil is really going to want to be zero cost somehow. Oh, wow. I could put it in the Mentor. Let's see if we get any tips what we want to do here. Oh, look at that. Mighty Ruby. This card's attack deal plus five damage. Love it. Lightning draw. Charge combo. Attack for 10. If this is turn one, attack three times. There's outlaw for the dagger every single turn as well. Whenever this hero plays an ally, gain plus one power. So outlaw and mentor. Oh my God. Oh my God. Actually? No, actually we do this. We, we actually do this. Outlaw, we take the Tiki Totem. Whenever this hero plays an ally, gain plus one power. We put that on Shara. Hardy, end of each battle, both heroes heal three. Uh, if you heal, still have block at the end of your turn, enemy's turn rather, add a headbang to hand. Gain three power for your next attack combo stacks. Eh, not bad. Uh, Shara so, uh, starts each battle with three courage. That's extra energy. Matters a lot when I'm doing the stuff I'm doing. Uh, and then Mentor, let's get... At the start of battle, shuffle two copies of this into your deck with no gems. Suitable. Okay. And then the outlaw is there. So we have four of them that we play, and they're giving a bunch of power to Shara the entire time. So now all Shara really needs is a multi-hitting card. So we're going to look at every Vault of Wisdom we can. Honestly, not just multi-hitting, but also zero cost cards. Uh, Dragon Spirit to keep Courage up is not bad, especially this early. Ogre Cookie, the next card you play this turn costs two less this battle. Back when I played the previous version of this, the, the prior to release candidate, this did not work how I assumed it would. Which is, 
The next card you play this turn costs two less for the rest of the battle. Right? However, I'm pretty sure it says the next card you play this turn costs two less. The duration of that effect is this battle, which is weird. I think it's supposed to work how I thought it initially did, but it just didn't at the time. I'm not, I'm not about to find out. <laughs> we're, we're living in the dragon spirit and, and, and quick strike realms here. Excellent. Take the dragon spirit. I think we're probably enough on energy generation now after the dragon spirit as well as warmed up and the orb of Faria and mask of chaos. Yakhide over there will block each turn for three for us. And then there's the branch of Tarim. I actually really wanted that last floor. Didn't have the ability to get it at the time, but I do now. Let's give ourselves one precise space. Of course. <laughs> All right, we're looking for more precision ink so that I don't just waste a bunch of brushes down there. Triton Tide Lord. Can't lose more than one life to any attack. Oh my god, we actually got a Mentor and an Outlaw on the first turn. Oh my god. Oh, and a Fire Oil! Mentor. Outlaw. Fire Oil. Then God. Alright, Jara in the back line has seven power. Although, interestingly, uh, power doesn't matter literally at all this combat specifically. <laughs> So I really don't want to move to the front. Mm -hmm. Dragon Spirit. Mentor. Mentor. Because this enemy can only take one damage per attack. If it could take any more than that, we would have already dunked all over it. But alas... It cannot. Let's defend, move forward. Then strike to set up combo to be able to kick flip backwards. Then barrage to deal the AoE damage and then the damage from the Ogato getting the kill. What's next? Whoa, explosive pigment is so good too. Let's get some more information about the map. Let's take a look. Let's take a closer look at that snap. Attack for five damage twice. Gain two courage. Is that what I want? I do want multi hits on you. I do like the idea of keeping courage on you. That's just a bit expensive. Oh no, no! It's the uh, it's the ideal target for this. Attack for five twice, charge combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. there we go. We we found the right target. Beautiful. Now I can stand in that space and explosively pigment. The Goro, no! Get back here! Oh, he didn't run as far as he could have. But he stole one of the best treasures I've got. Ogoro, why? All right. I'm going to have to pop that myself just so I can get this Sky Tower and get some extra inks to explore down to Fagoro now. Hmm. Outlaw. Mentor. Mentor. Defend. Send a strike out. Uh, so we are quite adeptly attacking. Now, what about that defense? Because that doesn't feel as good. You actually may want to buff yourself with this. Ow? 
Well, we're going to be doing some out of fight healing. So, keep flip myself backwards. Good gosh. I mean, I guess, yeah, giving 10 damage to the back line is actually probably... Yeah, better than not doing it there, which is not great. Yeah, attack for 18 damage twice. That damage is so good. I just need to focus on our block. If I keep focusing on our damage, we will just die because of it. Darum's is, or rather, Gaia's Grace, the branch of Tarum down there. That is block. Space in a straight line. Come across the Sky Tower. Pop on the Sky Tower. Get C for Goro. As well as get the Yakai for three block at the end of each turn. Goro gives us back the Mask of Chaos. As well as at the end of each battle, the Equipped Hero heals for life. Put that on. Okay. Well, I'm feeling a lot more defensible now. Hmm. 22 cards is the max from that. Okay, I should probably get two more cards in this deck. Concentrate dissolves a card to gain two energy. The only problem is if I don't have much draw, then all this energy gain is for naught. I don't have much draw. Let me be skipping this one. Bullfrog Berserker. At the start of each turn, double this ally's spirit. I mean, I love the idea of it. I have to go outlaw instead, though. Useful skill. And that's our uh, final ally. It doesn't tell you, but you have five spaces for allies on the board. Yeah, there's another fire breath for just 15 AoE by base. Buckle up. Gain 10 block. Decrease the cost of a random card in hand to zero this turn. Um, I think I'll be skipping on that one as well. Mentor, mentor, outlaw. And Kek, I have the ability to invert this party, but unfortunately that kills a character if I do it, right? Uh, and so... No, not necessarily. Let's think twice. Warcry, get the barrage out there. Okay, so Soroko is living now. I'll just keep the daggers in hand until I'm in the front line. Really should just heal between the fights. There was no reason to play it as risky as I just did. You attack, and then we get the charge combo, moving to the front line. 20 damage piece. I'm just gonna throw daggers at you for a while. Hold still, let me throw some cans at you. A little bit more in terms of ink. Um, yeah, I guess like that bridges the gap that I needed. Hmm, we get to that too. In fact, it bridges two gaps for us. It'll allow us to access the branch and also pile of gold and a rainy at heart. Let's pop two of those just for safety's sake. Adam, you didn't have anything I was really interested in but thought about too shortly. Runan's medallion does make sense, but doesn't make sense necessarily right now? Maybe not. Lightning draw is really good if you have a gem that allows you to put in your opening hand. Uh, 
Cards attack deal plus five damage is also pretty damn good. I want to try and find a pretty potent multi-hit so that I can actually utilize it to its fullest extent. Nicomatas this is fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, look, I could do damage with Barrage, but I could also just Fire Oil. Barrage returns way more damage faster. Into guys, Grace. Uh, 11-11. So this is where I will actually hit you specifically to lower your power and your cautious effect there. Not that that seems super necessary. It would seem super necessary this turn, though. That's actually really frustrating. There's Dragon Spirit, and then I just yeah. got a Lipsy Dipsy two times there. That's the best defense I can get for myself. Ow, ow, ow. I went so heavy on the damage. I guess it's because I got all the, the allies that need to be played in the first cycle, which just <laughs> emphasizes exactly how much I need... Um, Nice. This emphasizes how much I'm going to need more defense. Oh, Stardust Pigment. Love that one, too. God, I could explore so much space with it. Same up here as well, actually. Doesn't look like it's getting much more than 16 in other positions anyway. Hey! Very well. Perfect. Vault of Wisdom shows us... Teamwork! A combo card that gains 10 block. Very good. However, we always get allies out, which means Phalanx is just one more block without the combo. Uh, there's also Shaman over here. Activate if your last card played is in your discard pile, return it to your hand. Not bad, but we'll take Phalanx here. Take that. Doing that gets us Rending Blow. The first hit of each battle inflicts bleed equal to half the damage dealt. If at the start of your turn, Soroko is leading, draw a card. Whenever you end your turn with no cards in hand, Shara gains a power. Gosh. Shara has enough power. We want to draw more cards. That'll give us more defense. Sometimes. Hmm. Good. Another normal battle down here. I just don't want to go into the elite fight with the uh, Sirocco on half HP here. Good lord. Ow! Well, at least I know I'm gonna be healing after this fight. That's that's good, at least. Okay. Uh, mentor into strike there. Unveiling my ability to go for a cross stab. Um, I'm not gonna be able to kill the backliner. But I don't need to focus on the frontliner any longer. Yeah, that'll be fine. Take one damage there. And yeah, let's kill with fire oil. We powered up. 
the enemy is so intimidated by us having that much power and that much damage per hit that they don't even wait for us to hit them. They just skedaddle. My space in a straight line. Maybe a good way to start exploring south from here as well. Okay. Let's patch up. Healing Podion, healing Podion. I'm actually also nice. gonna throw one more out there. Hey, what's up, Golden Fairy? We've got damage, so I think I'm okay with the... Uh, I think I'm doing okay in this fight. That was a setup turn. We have damage, but we also have setup turns. Is maybe hmm, like a counter-argument against that damage that we do, apparently. Let's get that buff across the board. Throw those hits before a kick clip back. All right, never mind. I feel good about it again. Beautiful. That was fun. So much money as well. What's over there? Hmm. Probably don't want to explore them. Uh, maybe. Horse Master, swap some. Thigh Breath, more. There we. Pump up. Eh, fine without those. Mentor into Think Twice. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Really don't want Sirocco to leave that front line now. Means I'm just taking damage. Ow! Ow! Oh. The HP's just getting worse. It can only be bad draw in a couple of fights. It can't be bad draw in all of them. At least we got the backliner down there. What about Phalanx. And I guess Fire Oil then. We'll hold the daggers, leave them stacking in hand. Because we're looking for more of a turn where we're in the front line. Ooh, in the front line, we have Warcry out. Well, yeah, that'll do. Nine times out of ten, that'll do. We haven't even got all our mentors out on the board yet. My space is in straight line. The game. an event the one elite is there just the one elite did i reveal another elite in a different area i'm thinking about a different map i might be thinking about a different map yep hmm i haven't found the multi-strike cards i would really want Before the adventurers lies a massive gateway, adorned with variously colored gems. Nearby, a mountainous, elegant dragon slumbers quietly. The adventurers quickly recognize this dragon as Orise, guardian of the realm of Pandora, a world as full of treasure as it is dangers. As the adventurers approach, the dragon raises one eye. It assesses the heroes, then huffs. I'm tired and wish not to fight. Please. Take one of my treasures and be gone. I will not offer peace again. Grabbing the mirror adds three copies without gems of the last card you played. This turn to your hand. Grab the lamp, add a random card from each hero to your hand. They cost zero. Grab the ocarina. 
gain two energy and draw two cards. Love it. When one puts their lips to this ocarina, it's as if time itself slows down. If only that was a reference to something. Hmm. But I've racked my brain and I cannot think of any link between that and any other gaming property. We've got a uh, elite battle here we can take out before going across that gemstone. Ah, it's you. Gain a couple guards there, then a defended phalanx. Yeah, we're gonna take we're gonna take some bops here. This turn is pretty rough as well. If I have just like a dense defend, I should just do that. Oh, probably the mentor as well. Thank you for taking a turn off. I wish I had more damage in hand on your turn off, but uh oh well. Oh, Mentor should have gone out first. Whoops. Let's defend and use Gaia's Grace. Ocarina for even more draw. I'm going to defend before I use another Gaia's Grace. I'm just trying to make sure that my defense are in the new cycle. Really, I'm just going to probably blow the enemy up in a single turn with daggers, ideally. So every time I play a card, you are gaining two power, which means a single defend doesn't actually defend. But a phalanx, still some defense. Two extra power, 19 by three, as well as... Uh, well, actually, I'm not even in the front line, so that'd be 22, 66 total. This would be 29. Uh, 29 and 66 is 35 and 95. And then the kickflip. As well as another strike for 16, because I can play all of these, can't I? Yeah. As long as I play the strike in the back line. Yes. Okay. Let's actually just trace the damage with the turn. 29 after walk right. Uh, 66 when I'm in the front line. 29, 66, 95. Okay. And then the strike from the back line for 16. Takes us to 111. And then the kick flip is uh, 30, 38, 111, 38, 149. We leave ourselves three short of killing the enemy. Yeah, there's a reason I wanted to calculate. Thank you for finally taking another turn off. This is what I really need to actually be able to damage you right now, and I don't like it, but hey, zap, it happens. Um, let's throw a single dagger from behind, enabling think twice as a combo, which then enables that courage strike as a combo, and then it's all just daggers from here. Oh, Sirocco. Well done on surviving at least. Shadow Jam just got a kind of random reduced cards cost by one. And... Hmm. Okay, use that one. Oh my god, another really of the same type as well. Ah. Ah. 
not how we do. Do something like this, I guess. Let's go with 11 spaces. Excuse me. Can I have the Radiant Heart, please? Thank you. And at least one more Bolt of Wisdom with... Stand behind me. Great. Big block card. Seems good, man. Big, dense block cards are welcome in this deck. I don't think I can take the Mighty Ruby without knowledge that it's going to do anything for us. I can easily take Phalanx, though. Whenever the equipped hero blocks, increase the amount gained by one. I think that should probably also go on Sirocco at this point. We're looking for so much block. You also had just a block gem, didn't you? I'm going to take the Rough Diamond. Suitable. All right. I should. Refreshing. I don't want to die Let's on this boss jump. again. I'm gonna nice. uh, pop too many radiant hearts. Oh, it's the same boss as well. One of the heroes play a card. Uh, play card. Just got a hand. Draw a card. Yeah, makes sense. Um, well, this is just gonna get all of our stuff out on turn one. That's to say, all of our things like mentors. Um, Outlaw matters more. Outlaw matters more. Wish I could play that. Okay. So I'm going to make sure at the end of this turn that I'm uh, in the back with Shara. I don't need to use all of my daggers this turn. In fact, I'm very unlikely to. So use think twice to move backwards. Okay. Then defend to move back forwards. Playing a barrage. Which sets up the combo for kickflip to move us backwards again. Before then we go defend phalanx for the full defend. Right. That plus Sirocco's at the end of the turn. Okay, so we can generate defensive numbers now. Thank you. <laughs> Finally. About mental with war cry. Uh, I mean, there's no reason not to just cross strike first, I guess. Usually, I would set up a combo for it beforehand. Not necessary there, though. So, you swap us before attacking, but you don't even attack. Oh my god. This enemy is being so much kinder to us this time than they were previously. Oh no. I can't play any cards this turn. Otherwise I lose all of my daggers. I'm almost, I'm, I'm so certain of that that I'm not playing any cards this turn. You actually, you got me. I needed to play them on previous turns just in case that turn came up. Return two damage to attackers. I don't want to play them on this turn either. Oh, how dare you get me so good? I've got well got. There you go. We can the front line again. This is swap us before attacking. But I can cast whatever I want. Those daggers should really go out this turn. I'm firing them from the back because 33% less attack damage, but three extra power doesn't actually uh, buff us at this point. He 
Keep on keeping on. Do that. Okay, I was wondering if I just managed to queue up the rest of them. Looks like you can queue them in instances of three. Swap the heroes before attacking as well. So I gotta make sure that... Would I defend as much as is humanly possible here? So you swap us, meaning the vulnerable target's in the back now. Right? You've gained four power this turn, but you shall also lose your life this turn. Nice. Feels good to have killed that character after it killed my last run. Feels like victory and justice. Each ally gains a spirit. That is... Th that's only three extra power. I don't know if that's big enough. All of the hero's cards gain retain. That's pretty good. I'm going to take that and put that on Sirocco so that I can defend on the right turns always. And if you draw this, reduce cost by one. Like it. What is so expensive that I want to reduce its cost consistently that I draw consistently as well? There might not be anything that is the answer to that question just yet. There may be in the future. Oh, Cup of Bongo is pretty good. So is the Diamond Shield. They're giving us more defensive things. They seem to know what we need. Uh, Magnus Rose, at the start of your turn, draw a card across zero. Shara's power to this ally's spirit. God, the battle brother is actually ridiculous right now. I can't take it, but it is good. Ogre Soup, give a hero six power. That'd be a card to reduce the cost of every time we draw it. Uh, this card's attacks hit all enemies. There's the Meteor Shard, inflict bleed, he got the damage dealt. All pretty good. Blade Barrier, attack for three, gain block equal to the damage dealt. That is actually a huge yes, block card. <laughs> uh, with the amount of damage she does. You can do that, and then defend my way to the front, and then use a strike, and then defend your way to the front. Getting a bunch of swaps for the sake of warmed up, although... Too many swaps. Triggering it there on the turn that I may not have necessarily wanted to. Get some courage. Enough courage at least to think twice. Doing those. And then barrier, and the guard. Okay. 30 incoming damage. Come on. Oh my god. Double copies of Gaia's Grace. That'll help. That'll certainly help. Get an Ocarina out there for even more effects. Gosh, the first cycle of this deck is so good. Uh, so this debuff's going to be against me? Yeah. Let's just take Shara here. That's if it even happened. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, man. Too powerful. I mean, look, that revealing 25 is basically as good as it gets. Get ourselves a gem, a perfect diamond for seven more block. Uh, God, where does that want to go? Uh, I could see that going in Dragon Spirit. Literally just turning it into a block card that costs very little, by which I mean none. None energy cost. Definitely transmute a card here. Uh, 
Soroka, your strikes don't really make sense. Exotic pet. Whenever the leading hero plays a card, deal damage equal to Yale Spirit to the leading enemy. Uh, no, we can't get more allies in here. Not really. Uh, I could use Buckle Up and Clash Stone. Or even just Buckle Up and uh, Scholar Shard. Get some draw. A defensive card that draws. Yeah, a defensive card that draws. Suitable. I'd say so. Let's take a look. You're inviting me to go over there and take another look at something else, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Eight the eight the six the. Okay, so I probably want to get to that sky tower just using um, an ink, if possible. Mega Tank Warriors in the front line and the Fire Ringer behind, who's going to be getting more powerful consistently. Oh, double barrage opening turn. Hell yeah. Look, I got to take two damage. And we're so set up for the rest of the combat. Okay, I feel like we did it. Just looks like we made it. Hmm. Guess I'll do two more rotations of the characters then. Should I throw that now? Eh, no, I'm getting more power all the time. Might as well hold the daggers then. Them retaining and stacking is making a lot more sense to me right now. Warcry into Phalanx. Sets up for a cross strike. 15, 20, okay, so we'll go 20, 15 from that, and then another 15 against you. Completely trivialize him. Blade Barrier would have been giant defense as well. I can't take that many more cards. The deck is quite thick. A lot of the time when I want a specific card, I can't find it. Okay, accessing that with four would be ideal. Okay, Let's just take and hopefully dunk on another normal. Ah, gem shell torties. All right, we're going to need a lot of damage to be able to overwhelm them. Positional weaken though, so I don't have to worry about the fact that Shara was left in front of the end there. Also, do you get to retain a card at the end of the turn from. Oh, I forgot, Soroko is retaining all cards. Whoops. Definitely misutilized that a couple times. Managed to play those in such a wrong order that I'm going to deal minimal damage. It's okay. My damage is inevitable. These mentors are mentoring me in the ways of the... In the ways of the blade incredibly effectively. Outlaw out there as well.
Yeah, I think I'll just take my lumps this turn. Oof. We've got better turns to go off. Barrage is a really good way to remove their stuff afterwards. Yes. 14 block from attacking from behind, and then the block actually moves me forward afterwards. Interesting. Then a... Big old barrage. I don't have to worry about how it affects anyone except the front. Then now that that's down, actually... Yeah. First cycle of the deck is getting us to lethal consistently. Four spaces in straight line is exactly what I asked for. Oh, and very well as well. Plus one energy every single turn. Although we really haven't been energy deprived much at all. Um, let's get some precision brushes. Got a couple things we'd be able to clear up with that. Guys, Grace. Oof. Don't know what this debuff is, so you can take it. Yeah, it's a positional weakness again. Unfortunate. Might as well draw with that first. Sky is grace. Then I can cross strike. No, 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 no. I, I... Wait. Fire Uh, I phalanx into cross strike. Into barrage. Kills both the backliners here. Defends us as well. Also, in killing the backliners, gives us extra energy. Mask of Kairos. I've got about that one again. Um, I can block for four by just playing the Fire Oil out now. Or I could just get the Mentor and then Guard. Actually, gives us the ability to throw the Defend out as well, which I will do. Return once you came. Nice. Damage taken. I immediately remove the new friends with Barrage. Even killing minions is drawing cards and giving us energy there. Love it. Kind of just assumed that wasn't going to be the case. Okay. Let's strike from you and... Actually, no, we'll use Buckle Up. Oops. Oh, it's not going to work anymore. Because I'm not in the front, I can't even play the kick flip. And if I tried to get to the front, the kick flip wouldn't be in comboed anymore. That's okay. Anytime those spawn, they just immediately kill the boss, so. Well, not boss, but enemy. You get me. Another explosive pigment, eh? Not as enthused about this one. 19 space. Ooh, this looks... 16? Hmm. Turns out... Looks a deceiving. Thought that one was going to be good. 22, though. <sighs> 22 and nothing. I got a lot of money. I have the ability to go for the Magnus Rose. Probably should do as well. I mean, I'm fine standing in the front line on this. Not going to get debuffed. Make sure that I'm able to do things like kickbacks. Kick flip, rather. Okay, and then we guard in the front line. Perfect. 
I mean, I do have to start attacking the back line, but the back line, like, I'll, I'll start doing that when I have AoE cards. I think it makes that life a lot easier to lead. If I play one more swap, I'm going to get an energy, so I'm just not going to do that yet. Guys, Grace, guys, Grace, guys, Grace. All after one another there. Cancel, Outlaw, Warcry. Then the Lunge will give us extra energy. Full defend and deal damage. Ten and a summon as well. Okay, you are very far out of your depth on this one now, bud. Uh, mental to think twice. May as well pop a dragon spirit out there if you can. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Cannot target the main body of this character. I'm gonna go all on that and crash. Good fight. Nice. nice right back at you, Soroko. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna no blink entirely past this. Is down here? I'd be happy to use a brush. Ooh, an event and. Uh, Golden Fairy there for us. The event should not be an issue. Okay. Oof. Didn't do too much on turn one. I'm just going to save all of my daggers for the final turn, probably. Thankful to have as many daggers as this to save. Gosh. You got one more turn here? Yikes. I don't know about this. Uh, it's all Lunge, blade barrier, and strike. So I'm gonna just throw the daggers now? Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna have a huge damaging turn upcoming. Get you back to the front of the party also. Yeah, next hand didn't look too damaged, Dan. That's why I had to do it. Guess there is a barrage. At the absolute least, use a defender move forward, and then Some more daggers. I mean, we did okay damage for not being able to kill it. Kinda want to get that narrative event. But before that, there are so many things we can get that make us more powerful. When your discard pile is larger than 15, this hero's block cards give 15 more block. We don't... Yeah, discard pile is not really a thing for us. This card's attacks hit all enemies. The final fight's not an AoE fight, so that doesn't actually make that much sense. That'd be hilarious on Blade Barrier, though. Like, using that as my defensive engine. Um... Alright. Another underground boss in the front line. It's... Dragon Spirit, I to think it's nice about it. Maybe... Yeah, I want to continue drawing. Yeah. 
Not a weaken in that position, but it does discard a random card from you. Hopefully it's not an AoE card. Thankfully it's not. Tor, <laughs> Outlaw, Defend, and then I use Buckle Up, making Fire Oil cost zero. <laughs> All right. Those backliners are getting more and more dangerous the entire time. I'm going to need an AOE card to come out of here somewhere, please. Let's move forwards. Then backwards. And then forwards again. Needed to deal on block damage for that. Good, good. Yeah, the backliners have finally started attacking. Can I have all my AoE cards this turn? No? Okay. Both of my two AoE cards are two of the bottom four cards of the deck. Cool. Uh, draw it! Oh, well, we drew one of them at least. Your first card costs one more. Actually... If I play a base strike before the barrage, I'll deal two damage AoE and then the barrage costs two also. Right? Then I can actually kill both the backliners. And in doing so, gain a bunch of energy. Um, might as well move you to the front and get that dagger kill. Didn't even need to use the ocarina. Tiles in a straight line. Again, I'm fine with that. Three tiles in a straight line and then just pop in the brush. In an area I previously hadn't. Start each battle with eight block. It's pretty good. Let's have a look at some Vaults of Wisdom to see if we see anything ridiculous. Gain seven block during the enemy's next turn. Each time an attack is fully blocked, add a dagger to your hand. A useful skill. Yes, yeah, that's pretty good. Shimmer Strike, charge, attack for eight. Both heroes gain eight power until the end of your turn. Eh. Hammer time. Yeah. Hard pass those. Phalanx is fine, but I'm already full defending. Don't need to skew in that direction, I don't think. Also hard pass on those. Is there another down here at all? No, but there was an event. The head of this massive blacksmith is a roiling torrent of flame. Its fiery visage shifts wildly into the rough shape of a face, long enough to appraise the heroes. It nods wordlessly, pointing one of its many arms to a nearby glowing forge. It seems to be offering its services. Scavenge the gem pile to gain a rem gem, or lay a weapon on the forge. Socket a card of your choice. The fact that I don't need AoE makes this really difficult. Because if I didn't, if I didn't, if I didn't need, if, it, ah, if I needed AoE, I would be able to do it quite easily. Um, gosh. So I'll do it with you. This card has no free gem sockets. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. No, I'm doing it here. Um... Cross Strike now has a second socket in. Perfect. The hammer rings loudly with each strike. The sound seems to res uh, resonate from both inside and outside Shara's head. After a few minutes of intense striking, the smith grunts in satisfaction. One of its arms reaches out, returning the item with a perfectly crafted gem socket where once there was nothing. Go back down to Nardum. And I'm just sure to be able to take two 500s. I was never going to do that, to be fair, though. Inflict bleed equal to the damage dealt. E 
yes. These cards attacks hit all enemies. I don't think we can put that in the battle, brother, and have that work. Would be kind of interesting. Uh, we'll take the Ogre Soup. Take the leading enemy equal to your block. Might as well just put that on stand behind me. So stand behind me. Very well. Does that, and then the Ogre Soup reduces the cost on draw, and then the Blood Crystal. Um, like, honestly, this just goes in any of her damaging cards. Kickflip, sure, kickflip. Suitable. All right, I got one more Elite to fight, and then one more. Uh, actually, let's get these potions first. One more Elite to fight, and then one more Brush to pop. Before it's time to fight the final boss. Ooh. Molten Veins. Each 20 life the blood sprite loses, summon a living blood. And the living blood is going to be rough too. Let's power up and then kick you for 24. Also giving you 24 bleed. So the living bloods, when this creature dies, uh, all other creatures gain 2 power. I'm going to end the turn in front. Just because it makes the next defensive card played give us warmed up. Mental war cry. Let's think twice. Dragon Spear back to the front and just manually remove one of those. Buckle up gets Phalanx. Coming damage this turn is enough. That's fine. I gotta have another AoE in here somewhere, right? There it is. Hello. Good to see you, Barrage. And that's going to draw us a bunch of cards. Thank you, Kairos' mask. Welcome to the party. Um. God, we've got so many cards left in the draw pile still. Uh, sure. Okay, with that. And then I think I'm going to look to defend as much as I can this turn, and then you stand behind me for damage. <laughs> it actually does just spawn multiple of them at the same time. And they spawn and take the damage. So the resolution of your Molten Veins occurs in the interim of the... Uh, or, or rather, in, in, in the middle of, of the resolution of the card's effects and then the Ogato after. Interesting. Okay, and we already know the backliner is already dead here. Let's use a barrage to do it. it just seems right. To use that to set up for a Sam behind me. Planned the whole time. It was. No longer is. Meteor Shard. This card's attack hits all enemies. All right, fine. Well, we got it in the end anyway. I'm going to pop that into the... Uh, the... Blade Barrier. Very well. And last brush. Tens decent. So 21 pages. Were there any other things that I left? 
A lot of the times in games like this, I end up optimizing my path. Oh, wait, I already... Yeah, cool. I end up optimizing my path and leaving things on the path to pick up later. And then just having to run over the entire floor again at the very end just to make sure that I got all of the correct things. I'm not going to put these gems in anything. They're going to make me discard cards at random to give me energy. And I have more energy than I have cards. This is exactly wrong for us. This is the Lord of the Mists. Cards with Dissolve deal triple damage. Whenever the Avatar of Mist deals life damage, Dissolve... So wait, you call it life damage, but it's called da Okay, whatever. Uh, deal, dissolve the top four cards of the player's decks. You strike there, setting up for that kick. Flea barrier, and then the back two will defend. And we're gonna be taking life damage this turn, so hopefully I don't dissolve the best cards in the deck. We lost... Excuse me? Oh, Guard, Phalanx, Gaia's Grace, uh, Gaia's Grace, and uh, Warcry. Okay, could have been a lot worse. Could have been just so much worse. Oh, double early copy the Outlaw there. You're also about to major debuff the front line, so I don't know if I want to swap myself there. Wait. Whenever Avatar of Mists deals life damage. Why did you just dissolve more cards? You didn't do that. Oh, okay. The 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 debuff that it just did was dissolving those cards. It can also dissolve those cards by taking uh, by dealing life damage. Savvy? Hmm, good ogre soup right there. Let's give you the soup and the fire oil to suit it. Maybe a repost too. These reach 66 damage right now. <gasps> they dissolve! Whoa! Okay, yeah, never mind. We're good, we're good, we're good. And then a the swap and deal 51 to you. Okay. As it turns out, daggers are uh, pretty good when they dissolve and deal triple damage. Okay, 22. I'm just gonna make sure I'm in the front line so I can cast these daggers before anything else. We can worry about the rest of the turn after that. That is definitely the first part, though. Good big hits. Couple more with these barrages, and we're getting there. This is gonna be our first win. Third episode, first win. This is not how I usually like to do. <laughs> uh, it's getting up still. Give you the ogre soup, and then end it all with a kickflip. You gotta end it in style. I feel stronger. As well you should, Shara, because you're about to get a hell of a lot stronger with all these pages and all these unlocks. Oh, okay. Almost, almost. Review rogue book. Oh, I said, I thought that was going to be like, you know, look at the run or something like that. No, it's actually like review rogue book on Steam. Uh, rally. Gain an energy for each ally you control. That would have been huge for us, but also we didn't really need the energy for anything there. Juggler. Whenever Shara swaps to the front, add a dagger to your hand. This is so good. Remember how much we were swapping in the first episode? Imagine doing that. Dig is a Sirocco card. Just gains 25 gold and dissolves. I love it. Really, really good early take. You just stall out the fight until you use it. Uh, shield Bash. Attack for 8. If you have at least 10 block, attack for 16 instead. 
Blind Topaz adds this card to your start. Uh, adds this card to your hand at the start of the game. Very, very good gem. I like that we're getting more of the gems now because, like, the lightning, the lightning charge, lightning dash, lightning draw, lightning whatever. Right, that one, the one that uh, has charge if it's played on the first turn of combat, it attacks three times, deals ten damage to the front enemy. Um, obviously, blinding topaz is a great thing for that. Didn't have it unlocked, so of course I couldn't have got it at the time. However, what I can get now is a couple more embellishments out here. Uh, unlock an additional talent here. I don't take that many cards, so I think I can hold off on taking that immediately. Uh, Shara's life. We can increase the base life of a bunch of the characters over here. Gold piles contain more gold. Start the game with more gold. Increase the rarity of treasures occasionally. Vault rarity as well. Super runes. Uh, increase the chance for each rune of sight to be a super rune by 5%. I just want to get my way down to this bonus treasure. Bonus treasure. Gain a randomly assigned treasure at the start of each run for 10. Definitely taking that. And then after that, we have the ability to start each run with a random ink. And uh, the inks have higher rarities on the other side there. Then let's get a additional gemstone in each chapter. You receive an additional gem when finding one. Or choose from an additional gem when finding one. Nice! Yeah, I'm going to want to get mineral identification as quickly as I possibly can, but that is a good expenditure of our pages right there, setting us up exceedingly well for more exploration. For the moment, though, my name is Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Rogue Book. There is a series playlist on the screen at the moment, as well as a recommendation from YouTube for the next video that it thinks that you should watch. Also on the screen at the moment are the beautiful and lovely and generous people supporting the Republic over on Patreon at patreon.com slash Rhapsody Plays. Thankfully... Th thankfully, hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. See you next time.